that's called. It doesn't care about all this select stuff and, and operating system specific stuff, but it just gets called when a connection is made or when there is data to read from a transport. And in this case, this is a simple echo protocol. So if you use this protocol, uh, it just reads data and writes it back. Twisted uh, is a framework for Python for asynchronous programming, and it's huge. It has uh, its own secure shell server, it has its own web server. Uh, the protocols are abstracted in a way that uh, both client and server can share common parts, and it uh, integrates well with various graphical user interface toolkits. It can integrate external main loops, and it has a very nice basic protocol infrastructure, which is the main reason I built on it, because I'm dealing with protocols. That's what I'm doing. So on the left, you see a simple twisted application, a complete twisted application, which is a chat server. You just connect to it to port 1025. And uh, if you send something, the server sends it to all the, all the other clients or to all the clients. Um, there's some more abstractions, so MyChat is not building upon, a, up, upon the base class protocol anymore, but it builds on basic.line receiver, which is a protocol which receives lines. So we have really clean and nice abstraction there. Okay, then there's SCAPI, SCAPI uh, which is a command line tool developed by Philippe Biondi, which is the best tool I've ever seen for constructing packets, receiving packets, sending packets, examining packets. So I'm just going to give a very short demo. I hope everything works. I haven't prepared this too well, just to show how powerful SKP actually is. Okay, so... I'm just going to construct. I'm just going to construct an IP packet. Uh, put some TCP con. I hate this. Some TCP payload in it. It's <sighs> Anyone want to try? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can do it, so. So, IP and TCP. Whatever. So, I'm constructing a packet here for the nth time. <laughs> and I put TCP payload in there. So maybe I want to put some, some message in there, TCP payload. Uh, of course, it's a string, not a variable. Uh, unintended. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have our hello message. Uh, and we can store it in a variable. We can look at it. I mean, if you, this is not the complete representation. So if I use dot show, I see all the hidden field values. Right now we have a source and destination address of localhost. So now I can maybe change the IP destination to something different, like uh, whatever. I just send it to some IP address that exists somewhere. I don't care. And then I send it. Uh, yeah, that's it. I, if I open if for real now, if you're not believing me, I just send it out. I can do even other things. If I go, if I'm more specific, I can, I could send out just hello, which is no protocol at all to the ethernet layer. So it, it's really easy to send packets. I also can sniff packets, like sniff count is equals one. And I just uh, I store this to some, some variable, 
and then I get the first one and I just received some packet, any packet from the, uh, from the wire. So, yeah, and I can also examine this packet. It's a random packet I just sniffed from the line. It's not, I don't have anything with it to do. It's an R pa packet with some padding. So, and, and I can do different stuff. I can make a UDP packet. I can put, put in this case, I can put, uh, probably should work, yeah. So it doesn't care how to stack the things. It can construct packets, it can dissect packets. So if I have some weird packet, like the fun one I had before, like this one, uh, I can also, I can also get uh, like ARP. I mean, you saw, saw before this one, it, it has an outer enclosure of ether and I can just get the up layer itself. I can stack them together. There's this uh, slash operator to, to put payload into some other protocol. So it's really cool. It does everything encoding, decoding I need. Uh, also, it can do stuff for SUN packets. I don't have a SUN packet like right now, so maybe I just get one from the wire. Something like, uh, I need some filter. Well, let's get just 100 uh, TCP packets, something like that. Filter with TCP. So make some traffic. <laughs> uh, maybe 100 is too much. I'll take five. Okay. So, so I want this. I wanted a SUN packet. I, I I got any kind of packets. I didn't get a SUN packet. Too bad. Uh, that's some. That's some kind of presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, can I have the, uh, no, I have it online. I have the presentation online, uh, but let's switch. It's kind of pointless. I cannot continue the demo like this, but I will, co I cannot continue the demo without this laptop, sadly, but I will continue the slides. Uh, I, I can tell you what, uh, what is working right now. CD, like, but it's it's currently VLAN. I think is, is it, uh, it should be it should be okay. running working. Okay. Uh, um, advice. <coughs> um, maybe I have to restart the X server. Um, actually.
Ja, müsste die laufen eigentlich. Okay. I have it online. I hope the net works. No, not, I, I don't get out right now. You need to, But I, I had a problem with the DNS server before. You should maybe configure it different. But Wikipedia works. Um, okay, no, let me see. I don't know. Maybe just, yeah, I don't know. Lass mich noch mit dem versuchen. Ich, ich mache sie nur fertig. Was? Ich versuche sie mit dem fertig zu machen. Das wird schon viel Glück, wenn ich das. Lass mich bleiben. Okay, I will just finish it like this if you see it. Uh, it should become readable. Sorry for this, it just happened uh, 15 minutes or like while I was preparing. So, anyway, Scapy is really cool and Well, so how do we implement, how is the design of a TCP IP stack? How, how, how do we, I mean, we want to do it object oriented. I mean, it, this is not even the 90s anymore, so it, it makes sense. There are good uses for it. So how do we do it? If we try to do it using inheritance, meaning we create a, a packet object, a packet class, and then we create an Ethernet class and then an IP class and so on, and each is a specialization of the previous one. Uh, as we will shortly see, this has disadvantages. Another approach we could take is composition, which means, uh, well, you create individual objects just as before. Maybe you have uh, Ethernet and you have IP and you have TCP. Uh, but they are not in any way in an inheritance tree, but they just talk to each other. That's composition. And uh, this is really pure and beautiful and everything, but in the real world it doesn't work so well. So uh, the third approach, which is my fourth rewrite, uh, it's uh, a hybrid approach. So I'm, I'm going to go through the design considerations now. Uh, with inheritance, uh, well, it works like this. You have the driver, and it dispatches to various packet protocols. And each packet, I mean, uh, to various packet protocol style objects. So in the case of the one in the middle, you have a packet protocol, which actually is an, or, or the other way around. It's, it's, it's easier to understand. You have a class TCP, which inherits from IP protocol, which inherits from packet protocol. And to this, you dispatch the packet, or you dispatch it to the other one. So all the decision making to where the dispatch is made uh, directly after the driver, some, somewhere around there. And then from TCP, you dispatch to TCP connections.